Mushrooms. I can't stand them. I've hated them ever since I was a kid. I mean, they taste like mouldy blackboard chalk. With the texture of a slimy eel. And when they're cooked, they fill the room with this terrible stench of extra sweaty body odour. It's disgusting. Honestly, I think they're nothing but putrid little grey atomic bombs. They are the fungus of the devil. Now, I understand that some people may use the shrooms as a form of recreation, but as a source of culinary delight and nutrition? I don't think so. Today, however, I've decided I'm going to stare into the face of my fears and see if I can put an end to this ridiculous phobia I have of the so-called Agaricus bisporus. And I thought that in a similar way to a person who jumps out of a plane yet is shit scared of heights, I'll tackle my fear in an extreme way as well. I'll make a mushroom milkshake. Well, it all started with a trip to my local organic grocer because I wanted to use the best of ingredients. And initially, all I was going to do was chuck the mushrooms in the blender and add the milk straight after. But I thought, no, I can be more creative than that. So along with the devil's fungus, I decided to add an onion and some garlic and, hey, why not a bit of chilli as well? Chop up the onions, chop up the mushrooms, add a nice dollop of butter into a fry pan and the onions can go in, along with the chilli and garlic on top of that. And then a little bit later you add in the mushrooms and you end up with something that looks a bit like this. Stir it around a little bit more. Take it off the heat, and there you go. That is the milkshake base. Contents of this pan smell absolutely vile at the moment. You people out there who actually like mushrooms, you're all insane. There's something wrong with you. Uh, I'm going to let this cool for about an hour or so, and uh, I'll come back and make this milkshake. Right, so the mushroom mixture has been left to cool now. I've got it in a bowl here. Have a look at that. That looks absolutely disgusting. So I'll just uh, put this into the old blender. I'm going to add just a little pinch of cinnamon. I'll also add a spoonful of honey. Yum. Also a good couple of scoops of ice cream. ice cubes here just to ensure it stays nice and cold and last but not least of course the milk oh yeah look at that that looks about right perfect now the fun bit right here goes nothing milkshake. Well I've decided to do this by the sink for obvious reasons uh, and I must admit at the moment I'm feeling really unhappy about this. Um, I don't really know what else to say aside from giving it a go. Well actually it smells quite nice. It smells quite sweet, uh, palatable to the nose. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, there's chunks. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can do this. I really don't think I can do this. Seriously, this is, um, this is crazy. Right, there goes nothing. <sighs> come on, Daniel, come on. That is, that is absolutely foul. <laughs> Words cannot describe what I just put in my mouth just then. Oh. I swallowed it, but I... <coughs> oh. I swallowed a little bit. I'm sorry, I stand defeated. I, I can't do this.
it smells so delightful, it smells so sweet and amazing, and you put your tongue to it, and it goes around your mouth, and there's just this disgusting... That, that aroma that I was talking about earlier of the mushrooms, it just fills the room and stinks of body odor. That's what it's like inside my mouth. Mixed with the sweetness of the honey and the cinnamon, it's... Oh, I'm sorry. You know, um, I, I went away and I had a bit of a think about it, and I, and I think psychologically this glass is, is very tall, and there's no way I could possibly uh, get through that. So I, I, I have to, I have to, I have to do this. I really do. I have to do it. Look, even just that much, just like a only maybe 60, 80 mils at the most. Um, I'm going to block my nose, and I'm going to go for it. And oh god. I did it! I'm so happy, I'm so proud of myself. Well there you go folks, at the end of the day, I've conquered my fears and I've made this mushroom necklace to celebrate. Well I can safely say that I'm not going to have anything to do with mushrooms again for a very long time, but if by chance I am faced with a meal that contains this disgusting ingredient, I'll just think back to the milkshake and I'm sure that I'll be able to get through the meal. I hope that none of you are stupid enough to try this at home, but uh, thanks and cheers for watching.